Yo, it's your man Felonious Monk in the building once again. Stop it, man. You know what we do. Check me out, though. Got this little situation, man. Hearing fellas talk about it. And ladies, this one right here is your responsibility. It's your responsibility. Please, please, please. Y'all stop lying. Stop lying, ladies. I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about before you get there. We don't lie, man. It wasn't lie. You're lying about that. Every woman has told a man... This pussy is yours. You might have said daddy at the end, baby at the end, whatever. But this pussy is yours? Fucking lie. Shout out to my man Zoo for bringing this to my attention. But that's a huge lie. And I'm going to tell you why it's a huge lie. First of all, here's what I'm going to do the next time a woman tells me, this pussy is yours, daddy. I'm going to pull my dick out and ask her for a copy of the pussy D. I want that motherfucker signed over to me immediately because if it's mine, I want something like a proof of ownership. They got proof of purchase on the cereal. Cereal ain't shit. So if you want to give me something that's phenomenal as some pussy and tell me it's mine, then bitch, let me see the pussy deed. I also want to get the pussy appraised because I need to know if this pussy that you're giving me is really a gift or a curse. I need to know what the fuck I'm getting myself into. Let's get the pussy appraised. I live in Virginia. We got personal property taxes. Will I have to pay personal property taxes on the pussy? And are the personal property taxes on the pussy too high? These are the things that I need to know. Let's be clear on this. Ladies, that's a lie. It sets men up for failure. Here's why. First of all, if it's my pussy, then you can't fuck anybody else for the rest of your life because it's my pussy. I should be able to arrest the motherfucker for trespassing. Also, if it's my pussy, then it's attached to your body. You just written it out. So what I want you to do is make sure you maintain my pussy. We need to have some type of tenant agreement that you're going to take care of my pussy. Should not be able to sue you for not taking care of my pussy. And when I get this brand new pussy, should I have to go in and do a walkthrough in the pussy? Should not be able to check out the pussy and see if the walls need to be reupholstered? Fuck Yeezy did it. I want to do it. It's my pussy now. I need to make sure that the pussy is reupholstered. And here's the biggest issue that I have. I should have a homeowners association for my pussy. I should be able to look at the pussy and say, hey, bitch, you're going to get fined because you ain't cut your grass. No, not a Brazilian. I just want a low cut. I want it with a mohawk. I should be able to do what the fuck I want to do with my pussy. I should be able to get the pussy at 3 in the morning and your headache is irrelevant. You know why? Because it's my pussy. But it's a lie. Here's how you know it's a lie. Because as soon as she get pissed off at you, she start withholding the pussy. So, is it my pussy until you get pissed off? What kind of agreement is that? What if you had a landlord and he didn't like your attitude today, so he came in and kicked you out? Tomorrow, y'all talked it over and he said you can move back in. That's too much bullshit. Or what if every time you had a, a, a late payment on your car, it got repoed? Now, I know some of you people have had your car repoed. But after a car gets repossessed, you don't get it back all the time. Sometimes the car is just gone. That's what I'm saying. That's really what you have. You're buying the pussy. Here's the problem. You never fully pay for some pussy. Ever. Like there's no payoff date. And it's depreciating as you get it. Do you understand that at some point this pussy that you own is going to be a piece of shit pussy? Do you understand that? Do you understand that at some point this woman is going to go through menopause and you need, need all kinds of lubrication just to make it average pussy again? I don't want the pussy. Fuck a depreciating asset. Give me something that's good. Give me something that's going to grow. So ladies, stop telling that lie the pussy belongs to us. And fellas, stop getting all excited because you feel like you did something. That pussy is mine. It's always going to be mine. Well, I'll borrow it from time to time too. Whose pussy is it when I'm borrowing it? Should I be laying in the put leasing the pussy out? Should I call you and say, hey fam, I just fucked your pussy. How much do I owe you? No, I'm not going to do that because it's not your pussy. It's her pussy. Whose dick is it? It's my dick. I'm not gonna get a bitch my dick. She can have it as long as she's using it. Once I pull the motherfucker out, it becomes my dick again. It's my dick. Ladies, get that corny shit the fuck out of here. Stop lying. Just start having some relationships built on the truth. The truth is, if I'm doing all of the things that you want me to do as a man, and I'm fucking you right, I can keep the pussy as long as I want. Until I fuck up. Stop it, B. Come on with this romanticized bullshit. It's not my pussy, it's your pussy. You want me to fuck it well, I will. But don't tell me some shit that ain't true. Oh, don't tell me, the, your dick is the biggest, lying bitch, you told the last eight dudes that. Are you chronologically getting, progressively getting bigger dicks? Or you a lying ass bitch? Yes, you're a lying ass bitch. Stop it, B. Cut it the fuck out. Tell me the truth. Truth is, right now, you're all in your emotions, having a good time, you're getting some good dick. 
soon as that's over and I piss you the fuck off, it comes back to being your pussy again. You Indian giving pussy. Ooh! Stop it, B. I'm out of here.